between one element of the story and another were not always obvious to the emperor. The objects could have various meanings. A quiver filled with arrows could indicate the approach of war or an abundance of game or else an armorer's shot. An hourglass could mean time passing or time passed or sand or a place where hourglasses are made. But what enhanced for Kublai Khan every event or piece of news reported by his inarticulate informer was the space that remained around it. A void not filled with words. The descriptions of cities Marco Polo visited had this virtue. You could wander through them in thought, become lost, stop and enjoy the cool air, or run off. Leaving there and proceeding for three days toward the east, you reach the Omira. A city with 60 silver domes, bronze statues of all the gods, streets paved with lead, a crystal theater, a golden cock that crows each morning on its tower. All these beauties will already be familiar to the visitor who has seen them also in other cities. But the special quality of this city for the man who arrives there on a September evening when the days are growing shorter and the multicolored lamps are lighted all at once at the doors of the food store. And from a terrace, a woman's voice cries, Oh, that he feels envy for those who now believe they have once before lived an evening identical to this and they think they were happy at that time. The connections between one and the element. Silver domes, languages.
Day of the Dead. White bones. Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead. White bones. Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead.
a penny for the old guy. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. On this day, gentle shepherd, we look around and see a time of confusion. We see a time of perplexity. We see starvation. We see disease, we see disaster, and in these times of confusion, we sometimes will lift our hands up and say, I quit. Heavenly Father, help us to open our spiritual eyes and see things not as they appear to be, but to see things as you would see them. For in the face of all defeat, we realize that you truly are the victor. In times of starvation and thirst, you are our hunger and our water. In all of the times of distress, you can give that peace that passes all understanding. In spite of our circumstances, help us to realize we must rise above the things as they appear to be. Rise above the supply and see the supplier, to see you as the resource, and be grateful for these times of troubles, because tribulation works patience, and as through this patience we can grow to be more like thee every day. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Nada me faltará. En lugares de delicados pastos me agradecerá. Junto a aguas de curso me pastoreará. Confortará mi alma. Y dame por ser nuestra justicia por amor de su amor. Aunque ande en mal de sombra y muerte, no temeré mal a mí. Porque tú estarás conmigo. Tu vara y tu callada me confundirán en el mundo. Serás misa delante de mí, en presencia de mis angustiadores. Hiciste mi cabeza con aceite, mi copa está rebosando. Ciertamente el bien y la misericordia me seguirán todos los días de mi vida. Y en la casa de Jehová moraré por largos días. On this day, Lord, when there are times that we are so full of joy, we sometimes get like the disciples that walked away from you and were so full of joy that they didn't even come back to say thanks. It's been a good day. It's been a great day. But Lord, help me not to rise so far above myself to be so captured away of my emotions that I forget to come back and say thank you. Thank you for all of the blessings that you brought my way. Thank you for life, for health, for all the good things that happened to me today. But help me to realize, Lord, that there are times that right after joy, there comes that letdown, there comes that sense of depression. Help me, O oh God, that now that I'm on the mountaintop, that I will not fear the valley, for you bring peace in the valley. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. It's a good day, Lord, and I thank you for that joy. Our God in heaven, we thank you for this day, this day that the Lord has made us desire you above all to make us in spite of our circumstances rejoice and be glad. On this day, Lord, we ask you to be a real part of our lives and help us to be real to one to another. In a world that is lacking love, help us to look to you. When there are times that there are no joy, help us to reach inside ourselves and find the joy and the peace that only you can give. We lack so many things that we can get only from you. Teach us and help us in our unbelief. Teach us even how to pray, even as your disciples were taught to pray by you. They were saying words to the effect of, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth 
as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I see the old things. I see the things that people have grown. I see the things that people have made and the things that have grown on their own. I see the ways that people have gone through sex and money and blind ambition. They've wanted to just pay for the rent. They've just wanted to pay for the food. And they go out and they do these things and they find the old things around the world, the things that the other people have made and left behind, the things that the mothers and the fathers and the babies have left behind in the days and the hundreds of generations that we've had since we invented language, since we invented time, since we start to look at the things and we said, I wasn't there. The universe is another place and I'm not the universe. I'm a different place. I'm a little different place altogether. I got born to a man and a woman and I didn't get born. I'm not the whole universe. I'm just one little place. And I remember, I remember, I remember the beginning of the world and I remember the laughter and I remember the joke and I remember that the whole thing was just one big joke and I remember that the whole thing was just one big joke and it hurts and it hurts and it hurts and it hurts. I'm standing at the edge of the 20th century and I'm looking right into the bomb. And I pledge allegiance to the world. I want to spend my whole life here. I want to spend my whole life here. I want to spend my whole life here. And this man I met once said that we just go into outer space. When it all got ended, we just go into outer space and we wouldn't even worry about it anymore. We just go into outer space and it'd be like a shopping mall somewhere and it'd be so convenient and time would go on and we could change how long we want the days to last and sometimes eight hours, sometimes nine. Sometimes we let a day last for 72 hours and we just have one big party and we call it the end of the world. And I don't want to be like that. I just want to have the life and the life that is, the life that is nature and the life and the life of mothers and fathers and things were given to us. And I just wonder what the... And I look around the world and I look at the people now. They're my age. They're 23 or whatever they are and they want to die. I see these people. They put things into their arm. They put things around. They change the things. They... They shake it up and down. They say, my life is worth nothing. My life is a bowl of comic cleanser. My life is nothing. My life is a teacup. My life is nothing. My life is just a, another thermostat. I don't mean a thing. I'll just, I'll just identify with some crazy thing, and I won't even last a, a certain amount of time. I'll just go away. I'll just go away. I'll just go away. I'm hardly even here. I'm packing up. I'm going to leave. I'm putting things in my arm, and I'm packing up. I'm going to leave. Hey, you'll remember me. I'm, you want to remember me? I'll be here another time and you can remember me. But right now, I'm just packing up. I'm going to leave. It's sweet success. Sweet. Off onto the plane and the last memories, the best memories. And everybody knows that one time or another, we all stand together and everybody remembers everything that ever was. And right now, I'm just 23 years old. And right now, I'm wondering why my friends are packing up and wanting to leave at 25 and because I know I love this person, I love this woman, I love this woman in my land, the temple of women, and I don't even know why she wants to die. Why can't the world be like one big kitchen?
today In a leaf's haunted house A six long months
They Wind dried. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
widen the bones in the wind. <laughs>
Watch your step getting out, please.
Uh, this is Bern Porter in Madison, Maine, on May the 19th, about to enter into the prognosis of one of the great sagas of our time. In this episode, it was a man, an ordinary man. He was born of parents by normal sexual intercourse between the mother and the father. He had parents. He went to school. He went to church. He went to the university. He went, he went, he went, he went. And all of this activity, he was a common man. That is, he went from plumbing, he went from heating, he went from heating to refrigerating, he went from refrigerating to cooling. He was a common, common, common man. So common that the Pope in Rome discovered him and anointed him a saint. In his last days, his last days was on his bed, deathbed. He was bedridden with sores and wounds and blood. And the time came for him to pronounce his will. And he said, I, I, now the great saint, I will get even. I will get even with all of those. All of those who have betrayed me. All of those who have lied to me. All of those, all of those, I will get even. And I herewith, and I herewith pronounce my will, which has now been called the last acts of saying, fuck you, fuck you guys, I'm gonna get even. And so what will I do? I will begin, I will begin my threats and my, my, my evens. I will get even and I will abdicate and I will negate treaties and I will acidify alkalis and I will affiliate bastards and I will align the booby traps and I will amputate the cripples and I will annul the covenants and I will assess the poles, the treaties, the alkalis, the bastards, the booby traps, the cripples, the covenants and the poles, those I will acidify, those I will align, those I will amputate and those I will annul. Furthermore, I'll get on to the baiting of the suckers, the banishing of believers, the beating of bear asses, the bilking of swindlers, those swindlers, the breeding of monsters, I'll breed monsters, I'll, I'll have more monsters bred, and I will brine the sweets, and I will bust influence, oh, the suckers, the believers, the bear asses, the whole crowd, I will dispense with them, and I will get even, I will go on to camouflage the enemies, and I'll castrate the males. I'll cause disasters, magnificent, great, beautiful disasters I will cause. And then I will certify devils, and I will clog the conquests, and I will color, I will color statistics, and I will cross-breed delinquents. I'll bring those delinquents out, and those statistics, and the conduits, and the devils, and the deaths, death, Bill, I will do it. I'll take care of that crowd. Fuck them. Oh, the declaring, and I'll go on, I'll declare treason, and I'll deduct on the laubles, and I'll deflower virgins, and I'll defoliate positions, and I'll depreciate standards, and I'll dispense of allergies, and I'll distort basics. Oh, treasons, and non-allowables, and virgins, and positions, and standards, and allergies, and basics. Believe me, I'm going to take care of that crowd. You know, depend on me. You can depend it on me. I'm going to take care of them. I'm going to edify traitors, and I'm going to efface documents, and I'm going to eclipse contracts, and I'm going to elevate expectations, and I'll join the opposites, and I'll extol crimes, so I'll extol crimes, and I will exude, I'll exude stenches. Man, what stenches I will exude, and I will extol crimes. I will edify traitors, and I will ferment riots. Especially of mine is fermenting of riots and the firing of bins. I will flight justice, I will flout it. And I will flunk brilliance, and I will foreclose on the mortgages. I will foreshortening hymens, and I will frame, I will frame all the innocents, all you innocents now must be framed. This is my last will. I'm going to get even. I'm now, I have been achieved sainthood. I am in this exalted position where I can gas stalwarts, and I can get bribes, and I can go down trotting. And I can nude, I can gown, put gowns on nudes, and I can grab succulents, and I can drop, I can grade dropouts, and I can grime runways, and I, I can hack up corpses, and I can have totals. I can arrest taxpayers, I can arrest them, chase them down the alleys, and I can heed irreverencies, and I can eagle principles, I can hose affluence, and I can humiliate officials, and I can dine with, and I will idle servants. I'll ignite fires, what fires I will ignite, and I can emulate nuns, and I can apply gloom, and I can improvise traps, I can impute sins, 
and I'll carry on the imputing of sins. I'll carry it on to the highest degree, and I'll take care of the jabbering of smut and the Jacobizing of Paptus. Believe me, I'll jam frequencies. I'll jam frequencies. I'll jaw the springs. I'll make jibs and jibes and jibs of progress, and I'll make a plot, and I'll jockey funds, and I'll kick the wines, and I'll kin the gossip. I'll kick politicians. One of my last acts is the kicking of politicians and Republicans, and I'll kill off civilians, and I'll kindle rages, and I'll kite bills, and I'll lacerate boils, and I'll lay on backs. I'll lamb widows, and humans, and pits, and demons, and boils, and sleepwalkers, and backs, and widows, and humans, and pits, and demons, and demons, and demons, and designs, and clarity, and infants. I'll have the milking of treasuries. The minimizing of importance and the multiplying of vermin, the vermin, I will multiply and I will take on the naming of misers. I will nap up covers and I will have the narrating, the narrating of contradictions. Contradictions I will narrate and I will have the naturalizing of criminals. And the nidificating of vats and plaintiffs and the non-pussing of laities. In the obscuring of patrons and the obsessing of jealous blades, occurring of misfortunes, grievances, objections, I'll override objections. I'll originate grievances. I'll take care of the curing of misfortunes. <coughs> I'll do all of this. I'll get even with those bastards. Fuck them. Oh, I'll take care of the claiming of padding of claims, the palpating of excesses the pandering of lust and the paralyzing of arteries. Take care of the poaching of gain and the polluting of drains. Take care of the queering of sexes, the quarrying of innocence, the quibbling of facts, the quantupling of births and the quitting of scenes and the quoting of doom, the quoting of doom. Oh, bobs, hate, studs, wounds, Europa, lesbians, contraceptives, the rabbling, the radiating, the raffling, the rankling, the raping, the recognizing, the resulting. I'll take care of the salting of sores, the sacking of altars, ah, the sacking of altars, sanctifying evils, and the scaffolding of baptistries. Oh, well, the shattering of nerves. The shattering of nerves and the shifting of blame, the snatching, the snatching of light bulbs. The tabulating, the tabulating, I'll take care of all of that. And the terrifying of dreamers and the tightening of girdles and the tinging of the hair limbs and the twisting of arms. And the ulcerating of pimples, laments, vault stays, supplicants, bishops, serpents. Teaching, tempting, terrifying, frightening, tinging, twisting, accelerating, unbarring, unbuckling, unprepaying, unfrackling, unfreshing, unfrashing, the vacillating, elises, leases, forgeries, warriors, reality, lies, makeshift, priests, priests, the vulgarizing of priests, and the waiting of reservoirs, and the waging of revolutions, the waging of betos, the wedding, the wedding of peace lovers, and the waiting of doubts. Ah. I'm gonna get even, I'm gonna get even, I'm gonna get even, get even, get even, get even, square all my debts and take care of all of this stuff, all of this stuff, the riots, the bids, the justice, the boils, the sleepers, the walkers, the scones, the bobs, the meats, the bonds, the rails, the rings, the ringing of debts, I'm gonna take care of all of that, take care of all of that stuff. Especially the zero graphing of copyrights, the xeroxing of xeroxes, and the ringing of entries, the x raying of entries, the x raying of negatives. The xylophoning of dirges and the yammering of joys, the yapping of gossip, the yarding of parishioners, the yelling of victory, the yoke of unequals, the yelling of Greek, the yelling of Esther, the zeering of Zanes, of names, the sounding of oaths, the sounding of oaths, zero, blah, blah. I'm going to take care of all of those guys. Fuck you guys. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you.